In this video for positive maths, we're going to learn about the volume and surface area of cubes and rectangular solids. So first to recap. Volume is the amount of space an object occupies. So to find the volume for shapes like these, we need to first identify the length, the breadth and the height. The breadth can sometimes be called the width as well. So then the volume is equal to the length multiplied by breadth multiplied by height. And then the surface area. So the surface area is the sum of the areas of the faces of the shape. So basically we're used to finding area of 2D shapes where we have a length and a width. We have three dimensions here. So that means we need to find the, f the area of all of the faces of the shape. So again, we need to identify our length, our breadth and our height. So if we take the cube, all of the faces are going to have the same area. So let's say we find the area of this face. To do that, we're going to multiply the length by the height. Now, we have one face here another at the other side. We have a face at the top and at the bottom and these two sides also. So this side and the side over here. So we have six faces all together. So that means the surface area for a cube is going to be six times the length by the height or six times the length by the breadth. Okay, so it doesn't matter which face we necessarily find the area of, it's going to be six times the area of that shape. Okay, then if we take the rectangular solid, the same idea except all faces are not equal. So that means we have to multiply, if we take this side over here, to find the area of that we need to multiply h by b, so the height by the breadth. Okay, so it's for that side and for the side over here that we can't see. So the surface area for this shape starting off is going to be twice the height by the breadth. Okay, then if we take the top side here. So this rectangle, well that's going to be the length multiplied by the breadth. So again, that's the area for the top and for the bottom side. So that's going to be plus 2 L by B. And then if we take the sides, so the area of the sides is the length by the breadth. So it's for this side and also the side that we can't see. So it's going to be twice the length by the breadth. So for that last side, it's actually going to be the length multiplied by the height. So it's twice the length by the height. So it looks kind of like a complicated formula, okay? But it's just take into account each face of the shape. Okay, so let's put this into practice. We need to use the formula to find the volume first, and then we're going to find the surface area of the 3D shapes. So starting off with the cube, we're going to find the volume. The volume is length by width by height. For a cube, they are all going to be 3 centimeters. So that means that's 3 cubed, so that's why we call that cubed. And we have 27 centimeters cubed. Okay, now the volume of the rectangular solid. So in this case, we have our length, we can say 7.25 multiplied by our width, 1.75, multiplied by our height, which is 2. So we'll find our volume is 25.375 centimeters cubed. So we're remembering centimeters cubed for volume, centimeters squared for area. Now let's work on finding the surface area of these two solids. So we'll start with our cube. 
we know that all of the faces will have the same area. And there's six faces. So top and bottom, two sides and back and front. So it's going to be six times the area of one of the faces. So the area is going to be three by three. So length by width. So we're going to get six times nine. So that will give us 54 centimeters squared. So that is the area of the shape, the surface area. Okay, if we take our rectangular solid, so now we cannot do six times because the sides are different dimensions. So we're going to take the front and the back first. So we have two multiplied by 1.75 multiplied by 2. So that's for the front and back. Now sides, we're going to have plus 2 multiplied by 7.25 multiplied by 2 for the sides. And now the top and the bottom, we're going to have 2 multiplied by 7.25 multiplied by 1.75. So we will get 7 plus 29 plus 25.375. So our surface area is going to be 61.375 centimeters squared. For more information, you can visit www.positivemaths.ie. You can email info at positivemaths.ie and find us on Facebook and Twitter.